Hi friends, this is Rakesh and today we are going to solve a problem of inflation of a hyperelastic circular plate using ANSYS workbench, right? So I have opened ANSYS workbench and have dragged and placed the static structural over onto the project schematic here, right here. Then I have double click engineering data on the engineering data so that another tab in the project schematic will open in which uh, which allows us to enter the material properties required right so I will click here to add a new material I will uh, say that new material as rubber right and here uh, all my units are in PSI so okay uh, first of all I will go for the isotropic elasticity because I have to enter Young's modulus as well as the poison ratio so just drag and uh, drop over on the rubber so that you will be adding it to the properties of the outline uh, group then uh, you say enter the Young's modulus here my Young's modulus uh, I have Young's modulus in uh, PSI unit so I will change my units from Pascal to PSI then uh, I will enter uh, 1 E6 PSI as my Young's modulus and uh, poison ratio as 0.5 right so here uh, it is an hyper elastic material so what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, place hyper uh, we have to place hyper elastic uh, models that are available in the literature here uh, in order to place that material model you can go for the hyper elastic and you select the Mooney Rivlin 2 parameter uh, model and just place it over on the rubber then again you just uh, expand it and enter the material coefficients C10 as uh, this also in PSI right so this one is PSI mm, then this is 80 and enter this value as some 20 and this as 0 right so after ending all those things uh, we have entered the enough properties in order to evaluate its behavior hyperelastic behavior of this rubber so I will exit this engineering data tab now what I did is I have to create uh, now what I what I have to do is I have to create a geometry so of the circular plate so I, I double click on this geometry cell and uh, uh, design modeler and this design modeler will open here uh, first of all I will change my units uh, from meter to inch because I have all the inputs in the inch and then I will select my XY plane right let's say look at the face I use the option look at the face then uh, I will go for the sketching tab uh, select circle and I will draw an arbitrary circle right and then I go for the dimensions tab and say general and I will select this one circle and place a diameter dimension and here it is showing that uh, my current diameter is around 9.5487 uh, inch but uh, uh, my, diam my diameter is uh, around 15 inches because radius is given as 7.5 inches so diameter will be 15 inches right so I enter the 15 inches now uh, I have uh, created my sketch what I have to do is I have to uh, give a surface I have to generate a surface with this sketch for that go to the options called concepts and say surface from sketches and you select this sketch and say apply and uh, right click say generate in order to create the surface right uh, we have finished creating the geometry now what we have to do is we have to set up the loads and everything in order to solve for that I will just close this uh, ANSYS work, workbench design modeler and I will open ANSYS mechanical just double click on this uh, model cell you will open the ANSYS a module called ANSYS mechanical in which we will be applying all the support con meshing the geometry applying the boundary conditions uh, as well as uh, solving the problem and uh, viewing the results there itself right it 
it is taking uh, a little bit of time it's okay first of all uh, if you see here uh, the uh, to the left of the geometry we are seeing a question mark that means we haven't defined all the required parameters for this geometry so select the surface body here just define the thickness uh, just define very 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 small thickness or otherwise uh, sorry uh, I think the thickness of the plate is given as 0 0.5 inch so you will be entering the zero thickness of 0 0.5 inch for that I will change the units to US uh, customary and I will enter 0 0.5 inch as my uh, surface thickness then again uh, you have to see the assignment is to structural steel because by default in ANSYS uh, workbench uh, structural steel will be assigned have to change it from the selections to rubber right then uh, just go for meshing right click say insert sizing and you select this uh, edge and give the element size as some 0 0.6 and just right click say generate mesh okay here you can see the generated mesh then uh, what you have to do is right click say insert simply support simply supported and what you will do is you will select this edge as a simply supported edge and click apply now after applying the simply supported we have to give a pressure of uh, 50 psi but uh, what happens is uh, if you give uh, 50 psi at once because it is a hyper elastic material a large deformation may occur right for that we will give the uh, 50 psi in uh, steps of 4 uh, in which for the first step consists of around 0 to 4 uh, 4 and second one 24 uh, 4 to 24 and third step 24 to 38 and we will gradually apply 38 to 50 load in the fourth step right for that uh, select the static structural go for loads say pressure load and you select this phase and say apply here I have to go in times in time steps right for that go for analysis settings and here you specify instead of uh, one step you specify four steps right and uh, because it is an uh, nonlinear analysis you select everything by pressing control every step by pressing control and uh, just uh, uh, give the large deflection to on because it is a non-linear analysis and leave everything uh, and also you have to uh, uh, switch on the auto time stepping right and uh, now you have to specify for every step you have to specify the number of sub steps initial sub steps maximum and minimum number of sub steps right so for the first step I am going to give uh, initial sub steps as 50 and my minimum sub uh, steps will be again 50 and my maximum will be 100 maximum will be 100 then I will select the step 2 my initial sub steps will be around 150 my minimum will be 150 and my maximum will be around 250 then I will select the third step here and uh, my initial sub step will be this uh, 450 my minimum sub step will be again 450 and this will be around 600 then I will select my fourth step and my initial sub steps will be around 1200 and 1200 and now it is 1450 1450 right uh, and now go for the pressure and here you see you can have some steps in the first step we will have the maximum of 4 psi 
and this up to 24 and this 38 the third step and the final step will have 50 so we have applied everything and our aim is to find the deformation so right click say insert deformation directional deformation and you see you have applied uh, president Z so you have to go for the orientation select the orientation to Z to in order to find the directional deformation here because this uh, long linear analysis it, it takes a little bit of time right you can go here uh, press solve in order to solve okay so solving has finished and I think it has taken around uh, somewhere around 578 seconds to solve the total problem right so I have gone to the direct deformation and see how it has bulged right so you can also play the animation through here and uh, if you want to see at the on the final step if you want to see it is around 18.045 which is very near to the value that uh, that is to be acquired so oh, this is validated the problem has been validated so this is how we perform an inflation of a hyperelastic circuit plate and we can use the same we can use this different hyperelastic models in order to do inflation of different bodies and other things right okay thank you